member of the New World Trio. Um, with hits such as Try to Remember, Tom Tom Turnaround and Sister Jane. Now, John is currently a professor in the School of Government and International Relations at Griffith University. Everybody go, ooh. Yeah. Um, but he's in love with music, as we all are, and he's produced two wonderful CDs that he'll probably tell you about. Um, but I said to John, I don't know how to describe your music, love, because I haven't heard you before. Are you sweet or savoury? And he said that he's sweetish with a touch of sour. So, if you're as intrigued as I am, give it up for John Kane. <laughs> The cave I'm hiding in is quiet and cool. My only companion, a sage or a fool, who talks of the mountains where he used to roam, endlessly searching for home. Can you tell me the value of one life, says he, cast out upon the eternal sea? Is it as great as the infinite one, or between zero and none? All that remains after the last die is thrown is the piece of a puzzle, the rags of a lifetime, the fragments of bone. Pictures on the wall, maybe a scene of man before the fall. Naked warriors painted and free, but it don't look like Eden to me. Don't believe, says a fool, you are able to tell truth from illusion, heaven from hell. There is only illusion under the sun. The trick is to choose the right one. All that remains after the last die is thrown is the piece of a puzzle, the rags of a lifetime, and fragments of bone. Ooh. Ooh. Deep in the shadows, a serpent glides me, trying to measure. Depths of my feet, relax as the hermit, you must pay the toll. It's nothing more than your soul. All that remains after the last die is thrown is a piece of a puzzle, the rags of a lifetime, and fragments of all. Is the piece of a puzzle, the shards of a lifetime, and fragments of bone. Fragments of bone. Fragments of bone. Fragments of bone. Andrew said I had uh, two albums, like everyone else here, I have my albums. I produced two albums this year under the excellent tutelage of Mark Smith, who is not only a wonderful sound engineer and provider of sound, as we can see here, but a marvellous producer and generous producer at Real Productions in Brisbane, and a whiz, a real master in editing. He can make anything sound good after the event. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, Mark. Uh, I'll explain why I've done two CDs in a single year, my first CDs ever produced actually, since I went back to academia. Um, rather different, they're rather different flavoured CDs, and one of them I knew was going to be called Australia Made Me, because after all, Australia made us all, didn't it? In this rough and ready way. And Australia Made Me, I was interested in the Goodwills yesterday when they were talking about um, one of them was a Scottish immigrant, went to New Zealand. And so was I as a young boy from Glasgow, a um, long time ago. 
uh, but grew up here thinking of Scotland as home. And it actually wasn't until I went back to England to live for a while, I discovered I was an Australian, <laughs> because of my accent. And so when I came to write Australia Made Me, curiously enough, the song ended up, you never know when a song's going to end up, it ended up in London. Strange deal. But here's a song, and it kind of expresses something about Australia. And this is the title track from one of the CDs. Cafe in London where the food was grim and a teacher white and sweet. I was at a table sitting on my own when the girl came in from the street. Walked up and said, mind if I sit there? Please help yourself, I said, it's an empty chair. She caught my accent just as I had caught hers and she smiled as she sat down. God, not another one, she said, so many of us here hanging in this big old town. Heart. Oh, they still my restless heart. 
Australia made me. Australia made me. Australia made me. Yeah, the reason there's two CDs is I'd accumulated a lot of songs and under prompting from Anne Infant who drew me into music after many years away uh, and my daughter uh, decided to go into the studio and once I got in I knew if I stopped I'd never start again. So I just had to keep recording. I ended up with 20 songs and they're quite different. They were sort of that sort of song, sing a song, write a song. And half of them were sort of folky blues so I separated them into two categories. And uh, the other one is called, is the folk-based one, and uh, it's called Such Is Life. This title track is actually the Ned Kelly song. Someone asked me to write this song some years ago, they were doing an album of famous Australians, and I thought I'd tackle Ned Kelly. And uh, when I came to do this CDs, I thought I'd put Ned on there. When I wrote um, the song, I thought, how do you write an Ed Kelly song? He's still a controversial, controversial figure if you go to uh, Melbourne or uh, Victoria. People are divided about him. He's either a horrible criminal or a hero. Um, and it still divides people. I decided to write it from Ned's point of view, a rather self-justifying, self-glorifying point of view, but I think in the way that Ned would have liked to present himself. And of course the famous words that he allegedly said before he was hung, such is life. Looking back on all that's past I will not say that I have lived the life I choose But forced upon an outlaw path I was determined I would ride it, win or lose But thinking that my destiny was to be part of a nation's history But such is life It seldom is the life we plan But I know I'll be remembered in this land As long as men may tell my time They will recall how harsh injustice drove me on My mother calls in Pendridge jail My family broken up and sorely put upon and for the price upon my head Three troopers now at Stringy Bark are lying dead But such is life And such the deeds that we must do Although God knows I never want to do Sad I regret The blood that's laid upon my hand But I know I'll be remembered in this life For two long years, we wandered free For everything the forces of your law could do Steve and Joe, Dan and me Protected always by the people that we knew A crime to some, but to the rest A true rebellion of a people so repressed For such is life we surely reap what we have sown And I have reaped the finest harvests ever known The hearts of all To whom we gave a helping hand And I know I'll be remembered in this land You never heard it said of me That I was ever other than a gentleman and your row a bank and your elderly I never harmed a woman or a decent man I knew my part and truth to tell oh but I loved the part of playing and I played it well for such is life it seldom is the life we plan but we must shoulder it and shape it as we can You had, I gave reply, I chose the final ground and made you come to me. And ironclad, I did defy 
The guns and bullets of your foreign authority Though long and hard, I did resist I never doubted it was bound to come to this For such is life, Glen Rowan was my final stand And I know we'll know be remembered in this land And I must die, but tis your law that will be done and I'll always be remembered in this land Oh, I must die But tis your law that will be found And I'll always be remembered In this land Another famous Australian, I wrote a song about if I wanted to. Uh, it's an Aboriginal artist called Albert Namajira, who <clears throat> kind of grew up with admiring his watercolour paintings. And um, I kind of knew that the song was going to be called, I don't know why, Namajira Said. And when I came to write the song, I thought, what did Namajira actually say? So being a good academic, I went and did some research. And Funny enough, I could find lots of stuff about Namajira, very good writing on his paintings and his influences and so forth. Couldn't find anything that had actually quoted Namajira till I came across a paper, talked about the first time he'd encountered Western painting. And there were some painters from uh, the Heidelberg School in Melbourne who'd gone out to the mission station in South Australia with a lot of landscape paintings, traditional Western landscape painting. And Albert looked at them with great interest, apparently, and uh, said, you make money out of these? He says, yeah, we sell them. He said, I can do that. And there was my song. Give me money, they give me Jesus, they give me just a little respect, and I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Now my Jira said, now my Jira said, now my Jira said, now my Jira said. Lost my soul and all that stuff But you're not looking very close there Not close enough I can walk across the cultures I can paint the way I feel I can put it all together I can make it real They give me money They give me Jesus They give me just a little respect And I can do that Oh yes, I can do that Na ma jira se, na ma jira se, na ma jira se, na ma jira se. Give me money, they give me taxes, they give me grog, they give me Jesus, they give me just a little respect, and I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Now my Jira said, now my Jira said, now my Jira said, now my Jira said, now my Jira said. Namajira 
you probably know if you've been reading the papers that Nama has been in the press lately because there's a scandal about the copyright of his work which has been taken over and all his work kind of disappeared uh, and they've been given back now. The royalties have been given back to Nama Jira's family so that was good news. Will I do this one? I don't know. This one's not on the album, but you'll find it on YouTube if you look. Um, being a, a professor of government for my sins means you have to follow politics quite carefully. And uh, ever since Donald Trump became president, was elected in Christmas, late 2016, to relieve the pressure of uh, madness, <laughs> I took to writing satirical songs for my school. And uh, um, I think I'm on number six now. And uh, this is the latest one. And it asked the question of our American president, uh, where are you going? anywhere in the world recently, you know it's fatal to make any predictions whatsoever. We just don't. 
Uh, Scott Morrison. <laughs> invite Jerry up here to uh, help me out. I've got a harmonica player for this next one. It's a blues song. In e. It's a blues song about that uncanny feeling we all get every now and again, or we have had at some time in our life, where we're not quite comfortable in our own skin. That's called the uneasy blues. He's never heard it before. Does that matter? <laughs> got a musician, got a musician. We've got so many musicians. First time for everything, John. Did you ever get the feeling? Too afraid to turn around. Feel like someone's watching you, but you're too afraid to turn around. Caught me in the hall this morning Didn't dare to make a sound Oh, I've been crying lately In the middle of the night Don't know why, but I've been crying In the middle of the night Nothing is wrong exactly Just that nothing feels quite right And I feel like I'm wearing someone else's shoe. Guess that's what comes from living lives that we don't choose. Sometimes I feel like I'm a stranger in strange land. Everything's familiar, but still feel like I'm a Strange in a strange land And I'd give everything I own I feel like an old gun every night I got the old easy blues Oh, easy blues And I feel like I'm wearing Someone else's shoes Yes, that's what comes from living Lives that we don't choose Take it away, Jack. to recognize my own thing. Seeing it's Sunday morning, I'll sing a song called Sunday Morning. Rather a sad little song. There may be something in what you see, but I can't see it somehow. things are in my way to see clearly now outside this room 
in the old church ground. Church bell chimes with a mournful sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. And if there's something in what you say, well, I can't deal with it now. All of those memories of yesterday don't seem real to me now. Into a room under curtains drawn, there creeps the cold, cold light of dawn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Time. Modern poems in where nothing rhymes. Why do we feel this way? Well, how did we get to I know there's something in what you say, but I can't handle it now. Walls that we built along the way can't dismantle them now. Outside this room, in the old church ground, that church bell chimes with its mournful sound. Ooh. Sunday morning. This one I dedicate to my dear wife. with an idiot grin bringing strange attractions fatal distraction turn on the news but the news is bad always the same and is always sad hurting and crying killing and dying it's a mad bad crazy world living in but still you make it all seem beautiful I don't know how You make it feel so wonderful Here I know now Oh, it's a strange thing It's just the strangest thing How you do what you do To make it all seem beautiful Oh, but you do And I love like the best but we can't afford it pass every test but don't get rewarded our debts get steep our troubles go deeper still we will meet all this world's demands while keeping the faith as best we can living that living forgetting forgiven it's a long long and a hard road we walk in no but still, you make it all seem beautiful. I 
I don't know why short song. <clears throat> this is another one I wrote for my wife many years ago actually when we were sort of hard times and the kids were small and uh, I, was I was struggling to make the first rung of the ladder of academia at the time and uh, it was her birthday and I thought I'd cheer her up I'd write her a song and so I wrote a song put on a little cassette tape in those days and uh, we nearly got divorced though actually. She never got past the title. As soon as she heard the title, she thought, that's it, yeah, done with you. <laughs> so I put it away in the bottom drawer, a bit disappointed. And uh, I, I should have realised my wife doesn't get irony very well. <laughs> it was a kind of ironic, tit ironic title which said, that's what you get for loving me. And many years later at the folk club, I thought I'd drag it out and try it again. It's a sympathetic audience, which you always get at the folk club, the Red Hill folk. And uh, sure enough, sh she got it. <laughs> this is a nice song. <laughs> so after all these years, here it is. Days of sunshine, days of rain. Sometimes laugh is sometimes pain. Each day the need to think again what your life might be. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get for loving me. Two kids can knock you off your feet. That boy has nearly got you beat. Cause he's as wild and as sweet as a boy can be. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me A world to carry on your shoulder Sometimes a longing to be free And a man who goes from rich to poor And love whose mind you're seldom sure But one who'll always love you more Than he lets you see That's what you get that's what you get, that's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. A world to carry on your shoulder. Sometimes a longing to be free. And a man who goes from rich to poor. And love whose mind you're seldom sure. But one who'll always love you more. 
the world to carry on your shoulder Sometimes a longing to be free And a man who goes from rich to poor And love whose mind you seldom show But one who always love you more than you can see That's what you get That's what you get that's what you get for loving me That's what you get That's what you get That's what you get for loving me Thank you very much Thank you for the organizing of this wonderful weekend How much do we love John Kane? Okay, so, whoop and cheer and make strange 